How's it guys? Um, today we're doing an unboxing of this awesome, and you might actually see this ad rage this weekend, MSI Z170A Gaming Pro Motherboard. Now, this is part of the top of the line Skylake, part of the Skylake top of the line um, processor range. Uh, uses a Z170 uh, chipset from uh, from Intel. It's got killer LAN. Uh, it's got a few other features also, which I'll mention now. Uh, I just need to grab that cheat sheet they actually gave me. <laughs> um, as with all Z170 boards, they are Windows 10 compatible. So if you crashed your PC this weekend at Rage and you want to get a new Skylake, get one of these babies that of course is if you have like the four or five grand that you're going to spend for this um, now they say they've got let's see uh, it says okay this is my cheat sheet um, it's got mystic light uh, well yeah mystic light ddr4 boosts uh, they use the Audio Boost 3 chipset range finger my bob impregnable steel armor. Now, when I unbox it, I'll actually show you what I mean here. Uh, it's got a nice like um, metal chassis over uh, over the part uh, over your um, PCI Express shot. So that if you're a little bit heavy-handed with your PCI um, boards as you take out your multi graphics unit that you're actually going to put on this so you can play star wars battlefront um you don't damage the slot which is a good thing believe me it's a good thing i haven't broken one yet but i say it's a good thing um it's got gsb 3.1 in i think no they don't mention it on the front of the box here um a gaming device port, they say. Oh, we'll have a look at it. all of this now. Um, they've got a click bias fire feature, which also sounds like freaking impressive. Now, enough of me cheating off a cheat sheet. Uh, let's have a look at what we actually get. Now, this is a box, as you can see, it's a nice semi gloss type finish with some spot. A spot printing on there um, yeah they've got English that says it supports the new Skylake CPU and only the Skylake CPUs uh, it's got uh, 3.0 16 times PCI Express on it HD audio and gigabit LAN um, supports DDR4 memory ultra high speed remember ultra oh yeah so on the box here Everything my cheat sheet said. Mystical light. Your mystical light is a part of the motherboard that they've actually put in LEDs. Now this gives you, you can change this. It's, it's, they say it is 16.5 million colors. I don't know if that's good in most species, you know, somebody might actually steal it, you know, hip right. Um, audio boost. <laughs> The, the audio quality these days are freaking fantastic. Um, they use military class uh, chipsets on this, uh, capacitors and resistors and all that funky stuff. I'm not into. I'm not that big into overclocking. Uh, I never found a need for it, but I do know there is people with a need for speed, especially if they're going to get this. Um, the LAN priority software uh, or hardware, hardware slash software slash it freaking works. Now, what this does actually, it gives you a nice, when you're playing League of Legends, um, Dota 2 or anything like this, what normally would happen is that your Ethernet actually has uh, takes priority over whatever comes first. Now, if you're streaming your gaming live, and you're playing a game, you're gonna have a bit of a problem there. Uh, especially with our, our internet here, except at this land this weekend, because that is for rich people that can't actually afford that type of land. Um, 
The other thing that's nice of this is it supports Crossfire and Sly. Um, it is also part of the new Steel Series certified hardware range. Uh, you can see there. There's a nice, uh, there's a nice Steel Series thing there. Um, otherwise, it just tells you what else is on the board. It tells you what's on the back panel here. Uh, we'll have a look at that now. So let's actually have a look at what's inside this. So, a nicely wrapped motherboard, easy, always perfect, a spongy thing, and your separator box, alright, um, in the box itself you've got your uh, driver CD, which most of the time the driver is already, by the time we get the motherboard, this driver is a little bit outdated so your Windows 10 or if you're still running 7 or 8 will need to be updated to the latest stuff go to the website download them you'll get that um, you can also they've got a nice registration paper there where you can register your MSI product get updates newsletters competitions they've got a nice MSI club that you've got there um, and then your labeling stickers this is always nice especially if you've got like 20,000 different type of hard uh, hard drives that's in your um, in your computer they actually show you uh, how to use it yeah. it's basically one part is for the top one part's for the bottom yeah I just need to know which one at the top is drive C um, user manual a quick installation guide I don't see this very often uh, in almost anything these days uh, you've got your sly bridge especially if you're uh, getting two nine, uh, 970s uh, to run with this board um, because they've got two 3.0 slots on there um, they only supply two SATA cables with this board and the lovely black finish um, back panel here it's got the MSI Dragon logo on there uh, and each one specifically labeled that uh, which actually goes where now onto your fun part let's just get all of this inside here All right, um, make sure that you uh, always, always uh, demagnetize yourself. It's now getting into summer. Same thing, heat, humidity does not go well with motherboards at all. All right, this is your MSI Z170 programming motherboard. Uh, it's got nice black finish to this so uh, if you've got any of the new uh, cases that's actually painted black uh, this fits in nice and you if you like a red theme the red thing actually goes right through this you can break the monotone of the red and black with this new strip that they've got at the bottom here like I said before it's got like 16.5 million freaking colors that you can choose so if you want to go with purple with the red it does not go well but you can choose it yes um, so this these two here are your two main PCI Express uh, 3.0 slots they've got a third one here but I think that's more for if you really it's it's not as far away separated as these two so i won't actually put anything inside here uh, this is a normal pci express slot there you have three smaller ones um, also except this part that actually lights up this part here um, that's going from your audio back here to your audio boost three chipset here it's all the way from here because this here is audio output to the front of your PC case that there's a small line that actually goes through this now if I'm not mistaken this stays one color red um, and it, it 
this also just brings nice so if you're into cable management and you're managing your um, pc specifically for this to actually showcase what you have here it would um, you'll have a break where your cards are but you'll have this nice color that actually comes through on the sides there um, they've got also got the new msata um, connector here they can go up to the bigger one the the Asus board that I unboxed the other day, um, they, their uh, post to actually mount your MSATA is put into a separate bracket where what uh, MSI did, they actually left it on the board here so it's easy for you to actually get on there. Um, the new thing with, well, this actually goes back to an old thing. Um, we all used to four memory banks. Now the previous gen, the X99s, um, they had eight banks of freaking memory that you can actually run. Uh, quad channel uh, memory. Um, I don't know why they actually took it away. Maybe it didn't work so well. I'm not too sure. I'll read up a little bit and then let you guys know. Um, also yeah, what's nice here is this graphics that you have on here. This is just silk screening that they've actually put on this, but it gives you, it, gives, it looks like the memory, the CPU is actually running into the memory banks here and it looks awesome. Um, you're, on this board specifically, you've got six normal those are normal sata uh sata 3 um yeah sata 3 connectors uh this is sata express there's even a smaller smaller one that you can actually input there um you have on board yeah you have how many usbs here's one usb this is a usb 3 uh, front panel connector that you can have, uh, put inside there and your system fans, CPU fans, they're all inside here. Um, this uses the extra um, eight, uh, 8 power connector there. Um, there is your gaming LAN chip that's inside there. This is all statically sealed so that if, you, if you're playing in winter, you've got a little bit of static on you, you plug something in, there is your thing. have to get an insurance claim. I don't know if some insurance claims actually takes, uh, gives you a replacement board because you were stupid enough not to de-ionize uh, yourself. Sorry, it happened with me before. I couldn't get it back. Any case, um, back to your back paneling here. Uh, you, they don't have the um, the new C connector for USB 3.1. They do have your normal A connector, um, so you can most probably get a PCI Express, uh, small PCI Express card that can just upgrade to take in that if you want to get. Um, USB 3.1 C connectors on there. I don't really, nah. Um, this also, with the new Skylake chips, your Skylake chips have uh, Intel HD graphics on them. Um, so this one, they've got HDMI on it and DVI. The Asus board had uh, normal um, VGA, uh, the, the normal VGA connector point there. Uh, this is a gaming priority si um, port side here. So you're, if you're still using PS2 mouse, uh, mouse or keyboard, um, and then your your plugs for that, um, for your gaming is specifically here. Um, on the back here, you guys won't be able to see us now, but they've got capacitors, nice black capacitors here, that um, is there to short out any any ESD problems. Um, overall, I think this is a very, very beautiful board. Um, I'm not too sure if I would, if you, if you have cash, it's uh, like what I'm doing now, I'm upgrading my PC. Um, this it would be my next step. Um, your X99 compared to your Z, Z170s, your Z170s actually works out a little bit cheaper um, to buy. 
um, but it's also a little bit more expensive to run because of the DDR3 RAM. Um, also, you can only use DDR3L, not normal DDR3 RAM. DDR3 RAM is going to screw this up completely. Um, would I recommend buying this? Yes, I will, if you have the cash for it. Um, it's a lovely board. It's got nice overclocking specs on this. Um, definitely give it a go. Uh, and go check it out at MSI, the MSI stand. They most probably will have this one. They actually want this one back before they actually start. Um, yeah, check you guys later. Thanks for watching. And if you've got any comments or positive, negative, um, anything like that, give me Tommy at the bottom here and I can do, I'll do my best with the next one. Have an awesome day, evening, slash whatever, and see you guys at Rage. Cheers, guys.